All right, gang. So I had a uh, request to uh, to just go over to create a video to uh, go over setting up uh, SFML and uh, also getting the uh, the package config stuff uh, installed. So uh, here it is. Um, here we are in our in our course website. Okay. So I'm going to go to uh, to lessons. And uh, of course, we have a uh, unit two, right? That's where we had uh, those uh, those various directions. Um, and so, if we scroll down right here, are the uh, here are the two main things that we need. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do uh, the SFML install command. So I'm just going to come over, and I'm going to run. Um, come over to uh, MSYS, and we're going to run the uh, the Win64 shell. Okay, so there's that. And so then we just need the install command, this one right here, the pacman uh, dash s um, and all of that. Okay, so I'll copy that in and I'll paste it into the uh, the emsys window here. Uh, so once again, a middle mouse button, we'll paste that in right there it is. And uh, then we hit enter and it will figure out um, yours might actually say a few more packages because I sort of did a test run of this and um, anyways so I'll just go ahead and uh, and hit enter for yes it will uh, it will take some time to install those things um, and uh, and there those things are installed um, now remember we did in class you know I, I did do the uh, the kind of verification so I can uh, you know I can run package config here and we'll use the uh, list all option and uh, I'll basically just uh, I'll grab for SFML and we can see that yes we do have uh, we do have SFML installed okay so now we're done with uh, with this window we can close that we can close uh, the other window there all right the only other part left uh, we just need to uh, to set up Eclipse so let me start up Eclipse here <coughs> okay uh, there's my workspace all right just pick the default let it do its thing. Okay, so now we're just going to come up to help and we'll go to install new software. Um, so we need the, uh, the URL of the plugin. So I'll come back over to our class here. I'm gonna grab that URL. And if you're watching on YouTube, this information will be on the show notes. Come back over to Eclipse and we'll paste that in. Okay, so there it is. We'll click the add button and give it a name. Package config. Okay, so we'll click OK. And that will contact that. We'll be able to go ahead and uh, select package config here and I'll click uh, next. All right, and so it has uh, it says that we are installing package config. I'll go ahead and click next again. Um, we'll accept the licensing terms and click finish. And uh, don't be worried about uh, the security warning. You just go ahead and click OK. And so notice it will say it does want to re uh, restart Eclipse, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and restart Eclipse. All right, so uh, let's take a look. I'm just going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll close this uh, current project that I have. All right now, I already have um, a, uh, a little test. Uh, I have uh, the Hello SFML stuff from uh, from class, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, and import uh, that project. So we'll go to import, and we want general and existing projects into workspace. Okay, I'm going to browse over to uh, to my desktop and grab hello sfml right and um, we'll just go ahead and click finish right so now that's in there now we'll make sure um about uh, about this stuff so uh, i'm just going to right click here and we'll go down to uh to properties okay i'll go to um sorry to build and we want the settings um, of course, we'll double check our dialect. Yes, our dialect is set properly. Now uh, let's take a look at um, at the rest of the settings, right? So for package config, um, typically you'll notice when you first open it up, you have no packages listed. Okay, no big deal there. We're just going to go to advanced and we go to custom. 
Now we're going to browse to our, um, we want to go to C colon, and then we want msys64, and then we want our mingw64, and we want the bin folder for that. Okay, so once we're in there, then we're, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to find the package config executable, right? There that is. I have that selected, and I click uh, click that. Um, usually, I also will do this this append um, as well, and I'll click OK. Okay, that should actually repopulate all of this here for us, right? And if we scroll down. Uh, we should see uh, SFML listed, right? So there's the SFML stuff. Recall, the easiest thing to do is, uh, is we just check for SFML all, right? There it is right there. And, uh, and I'll go ahead and click OK. OK, so now that, uh, that should have set that for us. OK, I'm just going to go back over and, uh, and double check a couple of things. OK, so we'll go to, uh, we'll go to our tool settings. And uh, we'll go to includes, right? Recall uh, we did have uh, we did have this little issue. Um, t chances are, when you first uh, set it up, if you, if you do see these double ones, basically just make sure to uh, to get rid of the one one that uh, that doesn't have the e. If you only see the the one, basically, if if it looks like this, you do need to make sure to come in here and uh, and add that e in there. Okay, so we're gonna add that in. Um, Okay, the other thing I'm going to do here is uh, we'll just go back to properties. Um, once again, because we since I opened up this project that was already created, uh, this is something that we do want to make sure to check. So we'll go to uh, go to libraries. Um, and sure enough, uh, since, uh, since this project was sort of pre-created, um, what we now have is this duplication of the libraries, right? See, so graphics, graphics, window, window. So I'm just going to take one set of these. I'll just take, for instance, the, the first set from uh, graphics to there and uh, hit delete to get rid of that. Okay, so we should only have one set of those. All right, so when we click OK, um, now we should be good to compile. So let's go, uh, I'll open up the hello SFML from class the other day. Uh, we'll check that out. So I'll just do a project and um, first I'll do a clean, make sure that uh, I don't have anything else sitting in there and I'll go ahead and do a build. Um, and if we have everything set up properly, it should, uh, auto ignore okay yeah there we go um right notice it did in fact uh, build everything um properly so that's good now let's run it okay and remember we did still have one other issue that we had here right so now when i first click run of course we don't see anything um, however if uh, we come into our run configurations right and here it is it's got our hello F uh, sfml uh, project i'm going to go to environment we go to new and the variable name is path now the uh, place that we want once again is c colon msys64 mingw64 and bin okay so i'm just going to grab that part there and we'll come in here for the value and do a paste okay so we add that in just like that uh, we can leave it as the uh, as the append part and i'll click apply now i should be able to run this and voila, SFML is, uh, is up and running.